Wax on, wax up. Yeah. He rubs the lotion on the skin. <laughs> great, great form, three reps of 12. I'm oh, a little smaller okay. Than the left leg. It is looking a little smaller. Yeah. yeah. Lonely guys usually have that problem. Uh, you know what? So, on that, I figured we'd grab Reese and uh, give you a little rundown of this rally car since you guys haven't seen it for a year or haven't seen it at all. So, what we have in front of us here is an FIA WRC RGT spec uh, two wheel drive restricted two liter turbo, six speed sequential. Fiat Arbat 124. Okay, so uh, what the hell does all that mean? I don't know, but it Basi sounds elegant. Basically, it means it. you're really busy inside the car, selecting gears, having fun, smiling, going fast. Nice. I think the first thing that stands out are these massive uprights. Yeah, so what you have here, these cars were originally designed for uh, tarmac, or as Sierra, Sierra likes to call it, street driving or street racing. He means Sarah Price. Sierra. Sierra. <laughs> Sierra. So these cars were originally designed uh, for tarmac, so San Remo, Monte Carlo. Uh, they do now have a gravel trim spec for them, but you've got you know extensive cage work, a lot of structure support around the suspension points, all the subframes, the tubular, A-arms, billet machined uprights underneath these cars. These are serious real race cars. While the engine may look pretty sedate right here, this is a direct injection uh, engine with turbocharger. And then stacked in behind it, you've got a paddle shift, six speed sequential Sadev transmission. Launch control, four points of ALS and MAPS for high boost to low boost. And then you've got traction control as well for wet, snow, dry, medium grip, low grip and high grip. That's so, some sophisticated shit for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Wow, dude, the doors on this thing are so light. You know what I really like too? I don't know if this is necessary, but Crash these, support structures. These look nice though. It really finishes off like I hate just like gutted outdoors, you know. Yeah, it's this really is nice all this is all FIA spec crash support. So you've got it around the cage here and in the door structure here. You know, rallying is on paved roads where you've got guardrails, on dirt roads where you've got trees, stumps, uh, spectators if they stand too close, <laughs> and you're just trying to protect, you know, the occupants inside the vehicle. Oh nice. Basically, this thing has been stripped of most of the, most if not all of the factory dash. And yeah, and if you look at, if you look up on the inside, you really see how you know, extensive the cage is here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this, this roof scoop is, uh... It's a functional scoop. That's for uh, you guys. It actually has a fan inside it. So even when you're sitting here idle, uh, you have cool air blowing on top of you. Kind of like off-road world with a, a Parker pumper, but in this case, there is no dust, so uh, you can just have the vent straight into your helmet. Nice. So I'm noticing on this handbrake that we've got two separate master cylinders. Yeah. Yep, so what you have on the handbrake is there's two master cylinders on a rocker. There is a, a fluid coupler in the front of the diff, so when you pull the handbrake, you're actually releasing the drive shaft from the diff and then locking the wheels instantaneously after that. So the, it eliminates the, the opportunity of stalling the car when you're sliding the car on the handbrake through hairpin corners to get going. Okay, well, it's, essentially, it's essentially creating a clutch, right? Yeah. So you don't have, do you have to clutch in when you handbrake? Uh, you do not have to, but Fair as enough. a driver, you still kind of do. Oh, that's right, because you know what, in the dirt, if you remember, people kept stalling it around the keyhole Specifically, who kept on uh, Nick? Nick yes. killed the car twice what? because he kept forgetting to hit the clutch when he had e-brake. Well, you so. well, a lot of people, if you're not used to it, or, or even if you fumble, brake. you're just going to be pulling the handbrake and stalling out the car. You know, so I guess that's a good way for if you're getting fumbled up out in the field, right? You just I think it's, the drive shaft. I mean, uh, okay, I'm not a professional, but is that more like idiot proof of like, hey, let's not destroy something else? Along the way, or does it help like save like the you know different drivetrain yeah, parts? Yeah, it's, it's actually it's more of a safety element for the drivetrain, and it's more of a precise element, so you will not stall on those hairpins. Typically in rally, you're only pulling the handbrake in first gear to get the articulation where the corner is too tight. You know, obviously in drifting, you could be 
pulling a handbrake at 100 miles an hour in fourth or fifth or whatever. One of the big struggles that contenders are going to have today is that these cars are very precise on shift. It's an air shift, paddle shift. On pavement, it bangs really hard and you have to be very precise with the shift and almost full throttle. Now come to the dirt where there's no load on the tires, you're actually going to have to use the clutch to shift or it physically will not shift. The tire doesn't have enough load force to allow the load cell to shift through. And so what do we got here? Is this uh, fire suppression or is that... Yeah, there's really nothing going on there. Uh, okay. Cool. This is a little, little ratchet strap action. That's actually yeah, tying the whole time. cage together. <laughs> As I mentioned before, this is a full tube frame, subframe, front and rear. Uh, houses a sedative differential on the back. It's plated. So you can change the ramps of how much lock you want on power and off power under braking. I will say from experience on San Pedro Mata, uh, where I just about died off the cliff, uh, that under braking, this is very, very aggressive settings on the diff ramps. But you didn't die. I did not die. But did you die? I did not die. <laughs> Keep going. The interior looks strictly business here. I mean, we've got all our buttons and doodads and doohickeys and whatnot. Well, carbon. Damn, look at the size of these paddle shifters. Tilt and pedal box. Full race car shit. Yeah. Reese just walked off. Yeah. This is Bert. I'm Bert. What's up, man? Can you just run us through the brake setup here, real quick, man? So it's a race setup. Brembo, 330 millimeters metric. Front rotor, 300 rear, four piston calipers, front and rear. She will stop on a dime. What sort of like pad compounds do? These are on uh, RS42s. Okay, what does that mean for? It's a very linear friction material. So when it gets hot, it just has a constant grip rather than being very fast or peaking very quickly. Oh, cool. So it just stays consistent throughout the whole stage. It's a rally car, so you want consistency throughout the whole stage. And stages of different lengths for rally cars. Now, so you don't see a lot of like, uh, you don't see a lot of fade, but you don't see a lot of like sharpness, like where let's Correct. save. Yeah, okay. it's a medium balance. To do a five mile stage, they may have to do a 40 mile stage. So they need good consistency. And then is all this Lexon? Yep, they make carbon fiber oh. replacement parts. It's not stock. And then just Lexan has to be a certain diameter thickness. I think it's four or five millimeters for FIA, mm -hmm. but you're allowed to remove all of the glass. Oh, cool. Windshield stays glass. Okay. Uh, as per regulation. We have the slider windows, they remove all the electronics, all the all the mod cons of a standard car are taken away for weight reduction. Of course. And then this dash, is that the flock or is that Alcantara? That's Alcantara. Okay. That's I can't. a personal choice for whoever's building the car. It's a stock based dash. Some like Alcantara, some like flocking. Now uh, what what would you see in the difference of both those materials besides uh, one being more expensive than the other? Alcantara lasts a bit longer. Okay. And it's a little heavy, nitpicking over grams. Oh, okay. But I think personally, it's a lot cleaner looking. And the reason they put it on there is to reduce glare. Yeah. Well, I think that about covers it. Very good. Thank you very much. You have a good day. We will.